to know of one very large pizza on the table that has our names on it. Not both our names, just mine and pepperoni. But what matters is the taste. Are you with me? Then let's go, go, go! For a little guy, you sure are bossy. Okay, Mousy, up we go. Move it, move it, move it! Whoa! Whoa! It looks like you're out of luck. Hey, Mousino! Send me down a nice mozzarella pizza! Henry, are you okay? Being small does have its advantages. You don't have to tell that to the oxpecker bird. They use their size to get both a free ride and a free meal. Oxpecker? So what are those? Underwater oxen? They're hippos, Henry, bathing in a river. And the oxpecker is eating all the ticks and other insect parasites it finds feeding on the host animal. So why not call the bird a hippo pecker instead? Well, oxpeckers have all kinds of customers for their tick picking service. A bird on your head is worth three in the bush. Don't forget to peck behind the ears now. Oxpeckers move from animal to animal and not only eat tiny bloodsuckers as they go, but gather hair to line their nests with. I go for natural fibers myself. There's no place they won't look in their search for ticks. Doesn't that get annoying for the hosts? Ticks are itchy and dangerous, spreading deadly disease, so even this treatment's a better option. Oxpecker, party of 30. Your buffalo's ready. Yes, we're very busy. Today's special is a tick fricassee with flea pate on a gratiné of fur. Or you might pick a nice juicy buffalo burger. They're very fresh. Henry, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> and now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for a Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Award. The winners of my all-time best amazing tiny animal are... In third place, this snake is so tiny, she actually looks up to the earthworms. It's the Thread Snake. And in second place, when it comes to getting into a tight spot, this guy can do! It's the mouse! But tonight's Golden Gecko Award for most all-around talented tiny animal goes to spiders! A real giant of the teeny tiny world, spiders can spin webs up to 20 times their own size in just a few hours. A thread of spider silk is even stronger than a thread of steel, able to stand a force of 4,000 times the weight of the spider. 
When it's baby-making time, they can produce tiny spiderlings in their hundreds. Spiders are also helpful, eating thousands of plant pests like aphids, making them a real gardener's friend. And of course, they're not too shy to come inside for a visit. Or make themselves right at home inside a brick wall, like this tiny tube spider. Here's the lady of the house, waiting for prey to come her way. She spins a tube-shaped web to line her lair, complete with a set of trip wires which tell her when prey is stepping up to the old spidey welcome mat. Each tug on that thread shakes the web and tells the spider just where to attack. Gotcha! Done slurping, she chucks the crunchy skeletons onto her scrap heap. I just hope our winner doesn't do that with her Golden Gecko Award. All right, Henry, I think it's time to switch on the size matic and get you back to normal. Well, normal for you, that is. Smart guy. It's been fun, but when you've got to grow, you've got to grow. I'll miss you, little guy. Go on, buddy. That must be the zoom. Set it to 100 times bigger. 100! Check! I'll be back to my old self in no time. That's what I'm afraid of. Okay, beam me up, Mousy! Here we go! Wait, that's not the zoom button. <laughs> Am I growing? Am I big yet? Well, Henry, there is a lot more of you. All right! And they're all behind you. What? What? Wow! <laughs> Have you ever seen so much handsomeness in one place? But what am I going to do with all these mini-me's? Uh, start a fan club? A chorus line? Or better yet, both! Ready? Who's the funniest guy that you've ever seen? Henry! Henry! Who makes the competition turn green? Henry! Henry! Oh, brother. Brothers? I've got a hundred of them. Not many creatures can replicate themselves that quickly, Henry. But some of the tiniest ones come pretty close. Under the sea, just offshore, is where you'll find a coral reef. Wow! What cool-looking seaweed! Those are animals, Henry. That's an animal? Millions of super tiny ones, all bound together and stuck to the seabed. That's no kind of life for an animal. They need to swim free. They can't. So to reproduce, they must set millions of gametes afloat in the current. What's a gamete? Gam sandwiches? Gam and eggs? No, Henry. Gametes are sperm and eggs. Put two together and you get a new life. Put millions and millions together and you eventually get a new section of coral reef which can go on for miles. Wow! For animals that are going nowhere, those corals sure do get around. On the other hand, Henry, the iris fly has a different approach to reproduction. Iris fly? Flying flowers? Excuse me, you're kidding. These are iris flies. They have a long proboscis through which they drink nectar from irises, a flower that no other insect can reach. After mating, the female fly lays only a few eggs, which she always places next to a trapdoor spider's hideout. Sounds dangerous. It is, for the spider. That's the iris fly's larva. But it's tiny. Sometimes the smallest creatures present the biggest threat. The fly larva needs a safe place to mature and feed, and it intends to find one inside the spider's body. I can think of better places. Uh, a pizza parlor, perhaps? Without even being noticed, the larva crawls up the spider's leg and winds its way into a leg joint. At least the spider still has seven healthy legs. Not for long. Hosting a fly larva will soon kill the spider. Once the fly eats it from the inside out. Oh, poor spider. She should have kept her big trap door shut. Adios. Hasta luego. Au revoir. Bon voyage. Au revoir. Good luck. See ya. Saying goodbye so soon? It's time for them to go forth and get their own TV shows. And it's time for me to grow up.
Tell me about it. Uh... <clears throat> okay, Mousy. Start her up. To grow or not to grow? That is the question. Oh, very nice. Let's give him a big hand. Or two big hands. You think I look better with a bigger nose? Oh, grow up, Henry. My thoughts exactly. Oh, yeah, this is great. I'm getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> That's enough, Henry. I love it. You're going too far. Nonsense. I've always wanted to be huge. Just once. Who's the tiny one now, eh, Fido? <laughs> Compared with you, Henry, even those horses are amazing tiny animals. Oh, my little ponies. Aren't they cute? Anybody want a lizard back ride? <laughs>